I'm Doug Kide. If you have any questions to me, nope, not to me, for me. That's about, you know, just the. Let me just start the whole thing over again. Hello and welcome to this week's mailbag. I'm Doug Kide. If you have any question for me, tweet it to me at Doug Kide using the hashtag MailDoug and I will try to answer it. First question here comes from Ken McCartney who asks, was the biggest weakness in the Rams defense? How does the Pats defense slow down the well-balanced Rams offense? And the biggest weakness on the Rams defense is probably just size and strength overall. They have two very good defensive tackles in Aaron Donald and Dominican Sue, but both of those guys are kind of undersized. They don't have a traditional nose tackle up front. Uh, their defensive edge players, our linebackers also are all undersized so I think the Patriots running game will be able to get going against the Rams with James Devlin as a fullback leading the way the offensive line opening holes uh, it's Sony Michelle Rex Burkhead James White at running back as far as the Rams offense goes they're pretty top heavy with wide receivers and Robert Woods and Brandon Cooks you have to worry about Gurley coming out of the backfield there at running back but you know, it's, it's not that dangerous of a wide receiver core. So I think the Patriots can trust their secondary to cover those wide receivers and load up a little bit against Todd Gurley and that running game. Second question here comes from Trent who asks, Hey Doug, just saw the news of Chad O'Shea probably leaving for Miami with Coach Flores. How big of a blow do you think this is to our organization? How much success do you see them having in Miami? Thanks. It's a fairly big blow to the Patriots offense and coaching ranks and a younger coaching assistant, maybe even Brian Belichick, Bill's youngest son, will have to step up and start coaching wide receivers. Chad O'Shea kind of was that next in line for offensive coordinator. But Josh McDaniels, the Patriots' current offensive coordinator, seems like he's probably staying here for the foreseeable future. So Chad O'Shea definitely highly thought of in the coaching ranks, but someone else will have to step up there. I would say that Chad O'Shea has done a very good job with the Patriots' wide receivers this season. It wasn't the most loaded group. He, he coached up uh, Josh Gordon very quickly to get acclimated to the Patriots' offense. So Chad O'Shea has done a great job. I do see him continuing to do a good job with Brian Flores in Miami. Final question here comes from Bob M. Was JC Jackson really off Sunday or was he screwed by the refs? Kelsey pushed off on the TD and actually on the end zone. PI, your thoughts? And that JC Jackson probably played his worst game of the season, but he had a really difficult matchup against Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey that he probably wasn't really built to have. So I think that JC Jackson will be able to bounce back in the Super Bowl. Did say that they've got Robert Woods and Brandon Cooks. I don't know who Jackson will face in that game, but he's been solid all season. As long as he's not facing one of the best tight ends in the NFL, I think he should be fine.